Did you know that he came at Christmas, not about celebration, but about sacrifice? In other words, from the very beginning, he knew who he was and what he was doing. He had come to give his life. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians verse eight, or chapter 8 and verse 9, that Jesus was rich, but for our sakes he became poor, so that through his poverty we might become rich. In other words, he left the splendor of heaven and was born in that manger in that stable, leaving all the wealth, taking on all the poverty to save wicked sinners like me and like you. He loves you and he wants you to go to heaven. You see, he laid down his kingly robes and all of that to become obedient to the death of the cross. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 6, who being in the form of God, in verse 7, he, he makes himself of no reputation and becomes a servant. In verse nine, he humbles himself to the death of the cross. Now, do you know why he did all that? You see, Christmas is about the coming of God in human flesh to die for my sins and your sins and everybody in the world. He came to give his life a ransom. He came to pay the ransom debt. He pay, came to pay what the kidnappers are asking. In Matthew 20 and verse 28, he said, The Son of Man came not to be ministered. He didn't come for you to serve him, but to serve you and to give his life a ransom. You see, Jesus came to die. And it says for many, you say not all. He died for all, but you'll only get the gift if you'll trust Christ. You, it's not just like he wiped it all away. You do what you want. He came to save you if you put your trust in him. You see, he took the sin debt, the penalty of sin. He took that on himself for us. The Bible says in 1 John 2, 2, that Jesus is the propitiation. That's a big word, but it means sin payment. He is a sin payment for our sins, but not just ours, but for the sins of the whole world. You see, it's about sacrifice, not celebration. He came to give himself on the cross. I know that somewhere along the way, we have misconstrued it to where that Jesus, um, poor fellow, was grabbed and beat up and, and they, they took his life. But the Bible says that's not what happened. They didn't take his life. He laid down his life. He gave his life. He surrendered his life. He yielded his life. The Bible says in John 10, 10, no man takes my life from me. I lay it down of myself. I came to die for you. If you've not trusted Jesus, wouldn't today be the day? Trust him and be saved and know for sure that you'll go to heaven when you die. Accept the gift of Christmas. Accept the gift that Jesus gives as he died for you on the cross of Calvary.